Hey guys, it's Delisa here, and I have a video today on the vocal prowess of Miss Leandria Johnson. You guys have been asking me to do this video on Leandria for a while, and Leandria's voice is a little bit intimidating for me because um, she does things to her voice to kind of mask what her voice really is. And so I definitely kind of had to turn my brain on and really listen to her and kind of get to the bottom of what she is, who she is, how she is, all that good stuff. So I'm excited to get in um, to the details. Um, all right, let me put my glasses on so we can get started because so, I have my notes here. All right, so I feel like I haven't 100% concluded on this, but I feel like Leandra is either a soprano falcon or a spinto soprano. And a soprano falcon is a soprano that has a rich enough voice that can be, um, she that can, let's say, so we're talking about operas, right? Soprano falcon is somebody that is a soprano, but their voice has so much weight in the middle, if that makes sense, it has so much thickness that they could sing roles that were written for mezzo sopranos, but they also have the benefit of also powerfully hitting um, high notes, anything above, you know, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, you know, they have the, they, it's kind of the best of both worlds, um, as far as the weight, um, of their voice. A spinto is basically a heavier version of a lyric soprano. So they, you know, their voice kind of operates in the same way, but again, it's a little more forced, kind of like a Whitney, um, but I, I'm leaning a little bit more towards Soprano Falcone. I know I just spent the first couple minutes just talking about that. I told you I had to turn my brain on. So um, Leandria to me, okay, I'll just say, Leandria's voice is full bodied. This is what makes her unique. Her voice is full bodied, rich. It's almost steely. It's dark and powerful. And it's still agile enough to do impressive and difficult vocal acrobatics, even in a full belt. Her agility is like that of a light lyric soprano, think, you know, um, Karen Clark Sheard or Tina Campbell. And she has the power of a Mahalia Jackson, who I would argue was more of a mezzo soprano. Um, and, you know, Whitney Houston, when you think of her upper belts. Um, I had to really watch because she. Because she manipulates her sound so much, um, it's hard to sometimes pinpoint what she does, but I watched her on YouTube sing Be Grateful, and that was really the video that I studied to try to figure out what was going on with her voice. I figured if I could get her on like a classic choir song that allowed her to sing in the sense of holding out big notes for long periods of time that it, you know, she just kind of was forced to kind of sing a certain way but you know i figured if she held out a note long enough she would let her natural voice out and what i said through that is um stylistically i said that because stylistically she likes to sing on a her um and sing through kind of closed spaces um which technically is absolutely horrendous um you should never try to sing on an r God has not promised me sunshine. That's not the way it's going to be. But a little rain is That's very, it's not what you're supposed to do, but she does it and it's fantastic. Um, Again, she's so gifted. She has such a great voice that she's made a career off of that sound. Um, And I think that's what makes her unique. Uh, she sings through this closed space, but the voice is so powerful. So you can hear from the moment she sings this restrained power. Cause when you sing it through R, you really can't project. Um, so there's this restrained power, and then when she finally does, you know, release 
Um, it's just like, wow, she's a powerhouse vocalist. As you can see, I pretty much compared her to some of the best female vocalists of the 20th century. I said, you know, Mahalia Jackson, Whitney Houston, Karen Clark Sheard, and Tina Campbell. So, yeah. What are some of her setbacks? I think she's chosen her vocal aesthetic, but if she ever chose to sing on more open vowels, I think she could cross over and be one of the most important vocalists of our time. I think that maybe what makes her unique could be a setback in that um, if she were to expand her, her, her aesthetic vocally, um, I think she could you know, have more opportunities to do different things because the instrument itself is um, very awe-inspiring, quite awe-inspiring. I think she's great. I mean, in a word, <laughs> I don't know. Great, fantastic, fabulous, awe-inspiring. Like I said, she's awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this channel on my page and thank you guys so much for watching i look forward to hearing from you and look out for my video analysis next week who will my next artist be god bless see you soon bye